Let's talk about how passive this model really is. I'm gonna be speaking to those of you that have been in this group for a minute. You understand the, the, the model. You might even have started building your first project or maybe you've even landed your first client, but you haven't really seen how passive this can become. It's very easy for people to toss around the term passive. Passive income, passive income, passive income. First and foremost, everyone's old enough and mature enough and hopefully has enough experience to realize there's really no such thing as 100% passivity. There's not. There's varying degrees of passivity, but there's not passive or non-passive. Uh, it's just degrees. Even regular real estate is not completely passive. You got to evict people sometimes. You got to fix this. You got to fix that. You got to raise prices, re-sign contracts. It's never 100% passive. And by the way, I actually want to ask this question. If anybody knows of a model that is completely 100% passive, I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments. Because to my knowledge, there is nothing that is passive. 100%. There's varying degrees of passivity. And on the one hand, there's things that are not passive at all. On the other hand, there's things that are very passive. And uh, we're going to talk about where on the scale this business model actually ends up. For those of you that have never done this, what you need to understand about this business model is that all of the work of this business model is front loaded and it is very, very front loaded. Okay. It's not like you do a certain amount here and then you do a certain amount in the middle and then a little bit at the end. It is almost entirely front loaded and it seems like a lot in the beginning. But if you can get to the point where you can get the client, get the website ranking, get the ads turned down a bit, you can create something that is pretty darn passive. The reason why this is such a front-loaded business is because the biggest thing that you got to start with is you got to pick the right city and you got to pick the right industry. If you don't pick the right city in the right industry, you're dead in the water. And I know some of you guys have been in this long enough. You're like, yeah, we already know this, but I don't know if you actually understand how important this is. And what happens is when you first get into this model, you're so anxious to get your first website up. You're so anxious to just, you know, get going, which I respect and I love, but you go and you go into the wrong city, you go into the wrong niche. And then you're like, I can't get my website to rank. Or my website's ranking. It's not producing leads. Or my website's drinking, it's producing leads, but I can't find a hungry business owner. Any one of those options does not equal money. And so guys, you have to know how to do due diligence. You have to know how to pick a city and how to pick a niche. And some of you guys think that just because you research something and the CPC is below $5, which for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm coming, just chill, that you're just going to go into it. And that's not the case, guys. I, it took me from 2016 to 2020 before I felt like I had a process for picking a city and a niche that was bulletproof. And the only reason I was able to develop it is because I went into so many of the wrong cities and so many of the wrong niches. I went into 50 different cities in the wrong niche, 50. I don't know how many times I've been into a city and a niche that look good and I've come to find out it's not good. I've made the mistakes, I've done all those things and that's how I know what the, the model is. So, you know, it's front loaded because you gotta pick the city, you gotta pick the niche, you gotta make sure that's perfect. Then you gotta also, let's say you, get, you gotta land the client. The way that I teach it is I go, I get a client first, I get the contract, I get the credit cards, you gotta get the client. Then once you get the client, you gotta build a website. And after you build the website, you gotta do the SEO and the content and da, 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 and then you gotta do the backlinks, you gotta get this rank, you gotta keep the client happy. But guys, once you get to the point where you've built the website, you got the deal, okay? And these are not in any specific order because you guys know that I get the client first and then I get the, the website. But once you get to the point where you do those things, you have a website, you have a client, and the client has been with you that initial six months. What I do at that point is I roll them into another contract. So they're with me six months and then I, I'm like, hey, like, is it going good? Because for me, it looks good. I would like to continue with you. Are you good to continue with me? Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to extend this out a year and I'm going to lock in your rate for you. And guys, I'm telling you that if you will just, if you can just get business owners, keep them happy, get them to that six month mark and get them into a second contract, even if it's six months, but I try to get them into a year contract right away. So it's, so then I'm always on yearly contracts. Once you get past that initial contract, if you can get them to sign into another one and you've done your homework, you've done your SEO, you've done your website, this is where the business model becomes fun. This is where the business model becomes very, very passive. And this is where everything opens up and you could start to really scale. But I'm here to tell you that all the work is going to come in that first six months. And inside of that first six months, 90% of that work is going to come inside the first month because that's when you're going to be landing the client, when you're going to be doing the due diligence, when you're going to be sending the leads, when you're going to be setting up the website. And then once you get the website, you start doing the content, then you're just slowly dripping out backlinks or updating this, that, adding a photo, doing a blog, whatever. And it's not that much. So in the first six months is all of the work. All of the work is in the first six months. Inside of those six months, inside the first month, maybe even say 45 days to be saved, inside the first 45 days of the first six months is where all the work comes. And it slowly begins to get lighter and lighter and easier and easier. So you guys need to understand that this, this business model is front loaded.